Uh, hi everyone, I am Sultan Shamrani and I will be presenting uh, this paper entitled An Analysis of User Engagement on Twitter During the COVID-19 Pandemic where we studied and investigated the changes in user behavior before and during uh, the pandemic on Twitter. Uh, the outline of my presentation will be organized as follows. First, I will start by giving a brief introduction about the user engagement on different social media platforms during the pandemic and the motivation of using uh, Twitter for our study. Then I will talk about uh, the contribution uh, toward understanding and measuring user engagement with different topics on Twitter. After that, I will describe the overall system that we utilize in order to, uh, in order to understand user engagement with different topics. Uh, which include uh, two main tasks, topic modeling and uh, sentiment analysis. And finally, I will show our results and findings. Uh, then conclude the presentation and answer any question if you have any questions. So in the first part of this uh, presentation, I will talk about the, uh, the increase of usage of different social media platform and the reason for choosing uh, Twitter to be our uh, main platform for our study. Uh, so as uh, we all aware that uh, the pandemic has affected our lives in many different ways, including the health, economy, and socially with some of the measures uh, taking place, such as social distancing that are enforced to limit the spread of coronavirus, uh, our life has uh, dramatically changed. And during this period, the web and social media platforms have become the main medium for communication and sharing expression and uh, entertainment and such platforms are rich source of information enabling researchers to better understand how the pandemic uh, has affected user uh, everyday life and among uh, different social media platform uh, we can see that Twitter is a major social media platform used by millions of users daily to share their thoughts and discussion. And its recent uh, usage has surged uh, drastically amid coronavirus pandemic. Therefore, and in order to understand the shift in user engagement and perception uh, of users uh, through a different topic, we used uh, Twitter as the main uh, platform for our study. And in this part, in the contribution, uh, I will be talking about uh, the contribution that we have made in, in, in this work, which include the massive amount of data that we have collected in order to, to understand the uh, trending topic as well as the user uh, sentiment uh, toward each of these topics. Uh, so for the contribution, we started by collecting uh, a large data set of 26 million tweets from four different countries. And these countries are mainly uh, English-speaking countries, which are uh, the United States, Canada, England, and Australia. We have also provided an in-depth analysis of the collected tweets, uh, as well as their distribution over time and their distribution over different cities. And as well as providing the sentiment of these uh, tweets and the topic they discuss. Uh, moreover, we use different natural language processing techniques to extract topics discussed on Twitter along uh, with the, the trending topics and the user sentiment toward these topics. And to do that, we use uh, uh, Mollet LDA to extract these topics and to study their sentiment, we used uh, PERT uh, for uh, the sentiment analysis part. Uh, next, in this part of the presentation, I will be showing the uh, distribution of our collected data set over different times and location. Uh, so as we can see that uh, on the left figure, it shows the distribution of the tweets over different city uh, during the period of seven months. And on the second figure on the right, we can see the distribution of tweets over time. Uh, which is uh, three months before the pandemic and four months after the the, uh, the outbreak of coronavirus. And we can see that on average in each month we have roughly 3.5 million tweets for for the seven months. Uh, moving on to, to our system design, uh, I will in this in this section I will explain the entire pipeline of uh, the system that we have implementing, which include 
uh, the data handling and the two main tasks uh, mentioned before, which are the topic modeling and sentiment analysis. Uh, here we can see the pipelines for the main task. Uh, the first one where we retrieved uh, the entire data set that we have collected of 26 million tweets, and we made some cleaning, uh, then using bag of four to transform tweet to numerical representation in order to apply mullet LDA on them and then extract a set of topic and for each uh, extracted set of topic we would calculate the coherence score in order to get the best result possible and in the second pipeline which showed the entire process of the sentiment analysis we restarted by using uh, an annotated data set of 1.6 million tweets which are uh, annotated to be either positive or negative then we used a uh, per tokenizer to tokenize uh, each tweet into words, followed by word based embedding uh, to transform uh, the words into numerical representation before using per classifier to classify uh, each tweet uh, to their uh, respective sentiment. And then we finally used in order to, to measure the performance of uh, the per uh, classifier, we used uh, different evaluation metrics, namely. Uh, true positive rate, true negative rate, and precision. And in this in this particular pipeline, we have tried uh, different models, and our uh, experiment shows that BERT has performed better than all the other model used. Uh, so to give more details about the uh, pre-processing step that we have considered before uh, feeding the tweets to the different model. So in the first task of topic modeling, uh, the pre-processing step were mainly focusing on cleaning the tweets by removing any special character URLs and an English character, sub word and short phrases which are uh, words with less than uh, two characters. And in the second task of sentiment analysis, we kept the original tweets and applied word piece tokenization on the collected tweets since uh, word piece uh, take advantage of the it's efficient way of handling out of uh, vocabulary words. And for the data representation, so when we transform the tweet into numerical representation, for the first task, uh, which is the topic modeling, we used bag of words. And for the sentiment analysis, as mentioned before, we used a uh, word piece. And in the LDA model, uh, uh, the vector of the bag of word uh, was of size uh, 10,000 and we explore uh, using different uh, number of topics starting from 15 uh, to 50 topics and with increase of 5 at each iteration and the highest accuracy that we have achieved is uh, 0 0.55 uh, and that score uh, was achieved when you when we used uh, 40 topics. However, after getting the keywords from the topic modeling, we have manually inspected, uh, inspected the, the topic resulting from the model and assigned description for them. And since some of the topic were related to each other, therefore we merged uh, these topics together uh, and resulting in 23 topics. Uh, after that, uh, we train PERT model on the annotated uh, tweets as well as other machine learning uh, models and based on our experiment, uh, PERT achieved the best result with an F1 score of 87. Therefore, we selected PERT uh, mainly for the task of sentiment analysis. And finally, in, in this part, I will be showing some of the results we got after applying uh, both topic modeling and sentiment analysis model on the collected tweets. So after applying topic modeling uh, and doing the manual inspection of the keyword resulted and assigning topic, uh, we can see that uh, the distribution of this topic across uh, the tweets uh, over the period that we have studied, which is seven months, and we found that topic related to family and social life and thoughts and emotion represent 35% uh, of the collected tweets. Uh, moreover, during uh, this period, uh, 0 0.5 million tweets were related to COVID pandemic. And in general, expect for the affirmation topics, the tweets are distributed in the range of 0 0.4 to 2 million tweets uh, per each topic.
uh, moving on to the trending topic over time which resulted from the LDA topic modeling here we can see an obvious increase in the tweet related to COVID-19 slash pandemic uh, especially in March of 2020 uh, in which uh, the World Health Organization has declared COVID-19 as global pandemic which explained the uh, increase uh, in the number of tweets regarding to that pandemic which is increased of more than uh, 400% from December to March and we can see that there is uh, another similar trend uh, for the topic related to health services with increase of 76% from December to March as uh, showing on the figure below. Uh, another interesting result uh, when examining user sentiment uh, through different topics uh, before and uh, during the pandemic, we found that the positivity rate or a tweet related to health services has increased uh, from 42% uh, in October to 47% in March and similarly we can see the same positivity rate increase observed in the online shopping uh, that has increased from 30% in October to 37% in March as more stores were closing down. And finally to conclude our work in this study we gathered a large number of tweets uh, from 14 different cities. Um, before, uh, before and during the pandemic, providing insight into how the pandemic has impacted uh, people' behavior and sentiment uh, through different topic discussed on Twitter. And in this study, we highlighted the change of the public uh, sentiment and concern during the pandemic. Uh, and users expressed their concern uh, where they they start talking about health services with the increase uh, of uh, sixty percent in the engagement with this topic. And that's my presentation. Thank you for listening. And if you have any question, I will be happy to answer them.